What's up everybody? Thought I'd bring you a little update here. As you can see, we've done some modifications. We have recapped our PSU, the PSM 5341, which is also found in the Mega STE. Um, if they're identical. So if you have to recap for the TT and you're having problems finding uh, the right uh, caps, you should go ahead and send me a message and I'll go ahead and list all the correct uh, caps that you need to get from Mauser. Uh, we've gone ahead and gone with uh, Rubicons and Panasonics. Uh, temperatures are rated at 105 on these. Uh, uh, they're an upgrade from the 85 uh, degree uh, initial uh, caps that were originally on here. I've also gone ahead and upgraded the um, optocoupler, which is the PC111. It's been known to go bad, although I don't think this one's going to go bad. Um, I just went ahead and replaced it anyway. It was a couple bucks and I found one on eBay. Also, you'll notice that uh, I took this little guy out right here. Uh, if you're familiar with the Atari, this is the original Western Digital floppy drive controller. And we've gone ahead and replaced it with dun, 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 the Atari Ajax chip. Now, um, why did I replace that? Because we went ahead and also upgraded our floppy drive. As you can see, we have the Epson SMD340, which has been upgraded from the SMD380. Now, the 380 um, was a 720K floppy drive. The uh, SMD340 is actually a 1.44 meg floppy drive. And the reason I went with the Epson, because that's what I had in here was an Epson. And you notice that I was able to take the faceplate off the 380 and swap it onto the 340, exact the same. So I don't have to go ahead and uh, uh, carve out the plastic on the case. These things are old, I'm never gonna find one again. And I just didn't wanna replace, you know, or, or tear out uh, what I didn't need to tear out. May have cost a little more to do this route. Some say I should have put a GoTech in there, but I'm still trying to keep original. Now I have, I can transfer uh, files from my PC over to my Atari, no problems. And I also have the Net USB, but with the Net USB, the, uh, the thumbsticks are still a little sketchy. Uh, they don't work all the time, so that once they get the drivers perfected, and they said there's an issue with the TT and the net USB with the drivers, so um, don't have 100% reliability there. Next upgrade is going to be getting rid of this old school SCSI drive. We're going to go with the CF card reader. Uh, let's plug it in here so there's no mechanics there. Um, I kept the mechanical floppy drive just because um, I still think floppy drives are awesome. I still like the sound of them running. I still enjoy the nostalgia factor with these. Um, one note also, when you go to upgrade these, make sure on the TT you uh, enable switch number 7 to enable the um, high density support option within TOS uh, 3.6. The other upgrade that I'm looking to do is possibly get a Storm and a Thunder BME board in here and uh, we'll be good to go. But just to show you, the floppy drive, if I go over here to format floppy now, I get the option for high density and it's enabled. So that's awesome. And we'll just go ahead and leave you a quick little demonstration um, that I was able to get running, which I was excited about. The reason I'm in low density here is because we're going to go ahead and run the demonstration beams for the uh, Atari TT. So let me just turn off the light here, and you guys can enjoy this for a few minutes. And then I'll be out until the next update.